How's it going, everybody? This is your host, Matt Ten. Welcome to a really special episode here where we are taking players that played for Fulham from 1966 and beyond and seeing how they fare in this virtual World Cup 2018 tournament. Now, we know the World Cup is over as of yesterday. France, of course, won. Congratulations to Le Bleu. Let's move on. We wanted to really kind of just give our take and also just see how we could fare in terms of the logistics using PES 2018 on the PC, Smoke Patch, um, which is a custom patch, fantastic graphics, everything. It's just a fantastic patch that I've decided to use with this. And as well as playing on computer versus computer, this is a enjoyable time for us to kind of get prepared for the season that's coming up for the Premier League. So let's have a little bit of fun with it. As you can see some players there. Faces are, of course, as always a disclaimer, not 100%, but just to show you the lineup here, as we see Johnny Haynes there, the captain. And the lineup is Van der Sar in net, Moore, Hangelan, Cohen, Langley, Dembele, and Mullery in the midfield. Haynes in that cam roll, Leggett on the on the right hand side, Luis Boamorte on the left hand side, Luis Saha in the middle. And then on the substitute side, we have Machero, the goalkeeper, Davies, Coleman, Gale, Malbronk, Finnan, Barrett, Clark, Kearney, Dempsey, Murphy, and Hutton. Now, really amazing lineup, handpicked by uh, mainly Danny Boy, I would say, who is the England manager here. Um, but, you know, what the logistics, like I said, PES 2018, I just streamed it on YouTube. Danny would join in and bark instructions at me, telling me what to do. But that's okay. <laughs> it was definitely an enjoyable process. And we see here in the 22nd minute, Boamorte opens his account with his right foot nonetheless. A fantastic ball over the top from Luis Saha against Tunisia here in the group stage. Boamorte, you'll definitely see, is on fire with this amazing touch right there with his right foot and then his right foot again far post off the post beautiful finish 25th minute here tunisia looking to come right back and that's badri i believe whose shot is pretty violent pretty vicious but very wide well not actually very wide if we look at it again pretty close actually 33rd minute Corner kick for England. Boamorte trying to get his second. No worries. Luis Saha is there. Beautiful chest trap, I must say. And then that volley. Just sublime. Luis Saha finally opening his account. And I say finally because those of you that watched the Fulham Focus Legends Cup, Luis Saha didn't score at all. So to see that he's finally scoring for a national team is pretty incredible. And here, 6-6 six, six minute. Let's just pile it on here. We've got... Sending it off to Boamorte, who sends it looking for Dempsey. Dempsey doesn't know what he's doing, but Leggett does, and Leggett, side-footed finish. Very clinical, very nice finish there from the England striker. Making it 3-0 there for England. Nice ball in from Boamorte, but like I said, Dempsey just kind of started turning there. Still asking for the ball, and but no worries. Leggett took advantage. Dempsey playing a little bit. Defense there finds Kearney back to Dempsey. Dempsey plays it off over to Luggett down the side. Cohen's going to send this in. Dempsey trying to get his great save there by the keeper and then off the post. Pretty incredible start there for Dempsey on his account trying to get his goal, but couldn't get one today. No worries. England win 3 0 for the opening group match. So taking a look at the Group G table, Belgium sit at top, England behind them. Three points each, Tunisia and Panama struggling already. And we will be facing up against Panama next. In the sixth minute, Boamorte finds Saha, Saha with his right foot in there. And look at that, it might have been an own goal, it looks like it is, Ramon Torres. Seventh minute there, own goal. Kind of a harsh own goal, if, if you will. If you look at the replay here, it's pretty well contested by Luggett. And it even looked like it went off Luggett, but they're giving it to Ramon Torres for the own goal. On the right-hand side, here's Murillo. 
And that's a nice little ball in. Great header there by Tejada. The first goal for Panama. As we know in real life, they were celebrating pretty hard for scoring their first goal in a World Cup, which is no fault, of course, and brilliant. And this is a beautiful little goal, too. Another header, if you will. 12th minute. Haynes, great pressure there. He finds a leg it. Leg it trying to send it in. Finds Boamorte somehow. And Boamorte back heel. Luis Saha, another goal for him. And really, you have to say, that was a nice buildup from England. Great ball there from Luis Boamorte. Cheeky little back heel. Look at this one here from Leggett. Through pass. Saha jumps over it. Under his feet, Boamorte somehow finds Saha there. Great goal. 13th minute. Just a minute after Saha had scored. Finds him again. Saha 1 1 with the keeper. Too easy. And there you go, 3-1 to one, England, Saha putting on a clinic already. Again, that's Leggett though, just sending in a nice little ball. Beats the defense, no problem, far post. Shortly after, Panama trying to answer, trying to get a goal back. Tejada picks off Haynes, finds Perez, Quintero here taking on Langley. Nice little chip in there, and Blas Perez doing what he does. Just being a Johnny on the spot. Beautiful finish there. Quintero, really nice play. Chip over the top of Hengelin somehow. And Perez, clinical finish there outside of the foot. Corner though in the 27th minute. Not quite cleared out by Panama. Langley gets it. Chest over to Dembele. Dembele chip over to Saha. That looked exactly like Panama's goal, but Saha won't complain. It's 4-2 and Saha gets his hat trick. Brilliant little chip here from Dembele. Can't expect nothing less than him. Cohen here, 59th minute, over the top by Hangelon, and Leggett finding Saha again. Can he get his fourth goal? My goodness, yes he can. What a strike that was. Five to two, England. Another great ball from Leggett. Down the side, Saha, one and one with the keeper essentially, really just powers it home, upper 90. There you go. 72nd minute, Steve Finnan in. Haynes with his left foot. Clark saved. Clark again though, left footed, six to two. Great goal there by Clark for his first of the tournament. England just powering down the sides, sending balls in, getting their own deflections, and finishing. 76 minute. Tejada left open, nobody covering him as Hangelin was falling Perez, and he found Perez, but Perez also found the back of the net. Great finish there. From the Panamanian captain. Running off Hengelin, and Hengelin just can't keep up with them there. Not too much later into it though, Haynes picks off Panamanian defender, sends it off to Barrett, who Clark somehow got it from underneath his feet. Managed to find the back of the net, seven to two, England. What a great touch that was from Clark. And surely it can't be seven. I said seven to two, I meant seven to three. Hard to keep up. There you go. And they've done it just like that. Two matches into the knockout stage just like that. A fantastic display. Saha with four goals, Clark with two. We look at the table again. Top spot for England against Belgium. And of course they have to face off against each other next. In the seventh minute, ball over the top, looking for like it finds Barrett. Barrett somehow gets the ball. Surely gonna finish. Nope, can't do it. Dempsey, who's in there, can't finish with his left foot. Here, England again pressuring. Steve Malbrank finds Clark again. Look at this guy. Who are you going to pick for England who's really going to take it, be a top scorer? Clark is in there, Saha scoring goals. 
This was a great ball, though, from Malbrunk. What a little touch that is from Clark, though. Fantastic turn and shot there with his left foot. 47th minute. Finnan sends a nice cross in. Couldn't find Clark, but Barrett somehow gets it. And Barrett just taking advantage of the terrible touches by the Belgian defenders. You see here, I think it's Otterwild. Terrible control trying to dribble out of the box. And Barrett makes him pay. Here, Mertens off the corner, gets his own ball back, sends a great cross in, and there is Lukaku. Brilliant header, grabbing the goal back. It's really a match that doesn't mean much, just for honors to get the top spot. And that is the end of it. Both teams celebrating, of course because they're both in the knockout stage and that's where we're headed next where we face Senegal and Senegal just one of those teams that just is so tough to play against and here do you have some amazing skill there but of course Van der Sar who's been amazing all tournament making an incredible save there on the other side Cohen sends the ball into Saha who's off the mark on his header into the second half here Dembele with his right foot looked like a goal. We both thought it was going to be a goal, but man, just wide. 63rd minute, Sabalia on the left-hand side finds teammate. And Diouf, another save from Van de Sar. What does Diouf have to do to score? Here, we're going into extra time. It's been just one of those matches, 0-0 zero, zero. regulation. First time we experienced that, of course. Here, taking advantage of Dembele. Saha finds Malbrunk, who just kind of struggles here to get the ball, but somehow manages to cross it in. Surely, it's that man, Luis Morte, with the header. One of the smallest players on the pitch. And somehow you thought, with Malbrunk's first touch, he wouldn't get to it. And then, of course, you thought maybe Saha there should have just sent it off to Morte, but he didn't. Malbronk here seemed to take forever to gather the ball. And Boamarte was confident, patience, and finished it beautifully. 110th minute, Boamarte picks it off, finds Saha. And Saha, one on one with the keeper again, blasts it. Far post. 2 0. England heading to the quarterfinals with that. Nice little putt from Saha. I think he made it. We look at this blast. Absolutely clinical. Ball in here. Hangelon's just going to clear it out. And there you go. Off to the quarterfinals for England. Senegal is out. A really brilliant match. Had so much in it. Hard to compress all of this into just one little clip. And we look at the tournament draw. England's now going to face up against Brazil. Uruguay is going to face Croatia. Portugal against Argentina. Germany against Japan, who beat Belgium 4-2. And we look at Brazil. Just want to show a little bit of the player faces, show off the patch. See some tattoos there for Firmino, Neymar, Coutinho. We jump into the match action inside two minutes. Kearney starting, sends the ball over to Boamarte who drops it off for Saha. Saha back to Boamarte, great partnership. And Saha over the top, the keeper misses it, Steed. Oh, and Steed just barely misses wide. Kind of unexpected there, that cross threw everybody off. Somehow the keeper couldn't get to it and Steed, tight angle, I should have finished there. More from England, 16th minute here. Great ball over the top, looking for Boamarte. Boamarte somehow finds it off the deflection and finds the back of the net. Luis Boamarte, so clinical. That's his left foot, that's the one he uses. Fantastic goal to put England on top. Somehow the defender couldn't find the ball. Boamarte challenged and it was enough to create that opportunity. Marcelo over to Neymar. We had to show one foul on Neymar here. He didn't flop though. 
I don't think that's in the game as much, but it was Dembele fiddling enough there. 34th minute, Marquinhos, a little cutback, great reverse pass over there, Neymar diving, or not diving header, but just a header, dove at the end, sorry. Something about Neymar and diving, I'm not sure. Um, on the right hand side, Boa Morte cuts inside, surely going to find Saha, one on one with the keeper, Saha saved there by the keeper, but Boa Morte's there to pick up the rebound, second goal for the match. 2-0, amazingly for England here against Brazil, who really have no fight in them. They're pushing players way up top, and really England's just taking advantage of the counter with those three forwards up top. Here's Neymar finding Marcelo, Marcelo over to Firmino. Surely a chance here for the Brazilians, a tame effort. Van der Sar will be happy with that. I'm going to send this off into the sky. Hopefully the referee blows the whistle, he does. And there you go. Last four for England. Absolutely incredible into the semifinals here. And we look at the table. Uruguay is gonna go up against England. Portugal's gonna go up against Germany. Jumping straight into the match. Uruguay, really strong up front. Great midfield. Just overall a really solid team. And here they are down the left-hand side. Can't cross it in. Send it in now. And Cavani there with the big boot. Somehow. Out of nowhere. Kind of reminds you of Perisic's goal against England when they played Croatia. Puts his boot up there. And I don't think Langley had any chance there on the blind side. 22nd minute. Uruguay sending it up to Gavani, finds Suarez, Cohen trying to clear it, got it all wrong, and Suarez got it all right. My goodness, what a strike that is. Left-footed, far post, absolutely struck it. 2-0 for Uruguay, we'll look at it here. Looks up, just a blast into the upper 90. 65th minute, England trying to get back, not going to happen, trying to defend that corner. Rodriguez heads it into the ground. It bounces up. Hangelan couldn't get to it. Van der Sar couldn't get to it. And then here we go again. Another corner. It looks like the same one, but it wasn't. I promise. Vicino, what a great cross. And just a side-footed. England falling to sleep and most likely falling out of the World Cup here in the semifinal. On the right-hand side, trying to get something back. There's Luis Saha, gets one back. Four to one by now though. We look at just a beautiful ball there from Leggett. Saha finishes it as he's been doing all tournament. Trying to get something going here. Everybody up, Hangelin up there, but no. That is the end of England's play. After looking pretty good, but running into Uruguay who are just a juggernaut of a team beating England 4-1, to one. and we look at the final here, third place, playoffs going to be between Portugal and England, and the final is going to be Uruguay. We jump right into this third place playoff. Down the right hand side, Dempsey would have his opportunities in this match. So would Portugal, and here they are in the 28th minute, holding on to the ball nicely, just trying to create an opportunity. Great ball there. And here is Ronaldo. Surely, oh my goodness, it's in. What a brilliant little looping header that was against Van der Sar. Ronaldo scores his eighth goal of the tournament. Surely going to get that golden boot. Nice little first time chip there to him. England's all about going direct and here it is. Great ball to Dempsey. And that's what he wanted to do all tournament. His first goal of the tournament. He had a lot of opportunities in this one, guys. I had to cut out some of it <laughs> for time's sake. But Dempsey opens his account in kind of a match that doesn't really matter. But for pride, third place would be nice. England ties it here 1-1 thanks to Dempsey's strike. 77th minute, still 1-1. Great little tackle there. 
Kearney here sends it over the top for Gordon Davies. Davies tries to cross it in, but it's well defended by Portugal. Ensuing corner here from Kearney. Dempsey couldn't get to it. Shot there, deflected, and then somehow, my goodness, Dempsey with his back heel. Wasn't offside because it came off the defender. Couldn't quite clear it there, Portugal. And Dempsey made them pay. Just being right place at the right time. You see there, he's kind of running off. He's not offsides. A left-footed there, if we look at it again. Left-footed back heel. Kentaro <laughs> Patricio. That would be how it finishes. 2-1 to one for England, thanks to Dempsey's two goals. Pretty great result. Of course, in real life, England lost to Croatia in the semifinal. Finished fourth because they lost to Belgium. And of course, here in the virtual life, <laughs> England beat Portugal 2-1 to one to finish in third. And so Germany takes the top spot, taking the World Cup for another year. Pretty fantastic. But that's all for now, guys. I want to thank you again for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to this channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. We are going to get a lot more content out. Got some fun stuff planned and got some really nice competitions coming up. You're going to see a lot more on this channel. Thank you again for watching. That's all for me now, guys. As always, stay focused out there. Thanks,